Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. In this video, I would like to explain what Google Shopping variants are. Variants are a type of uh, variation of a product that is very similar to each other. So for example, uh, an apparel clothing, you can have different colors or different patterns. So these can be associated to each product. Let's say for example, we ignore the variation type. If we submit uh, a product that is very similar, then one or the other of the products will be uh, simply not added to the Google Shopping because Google considered this as a duplicate. So to avoid this problem, we simply need to assign uh, a variation. So these variations, uh, each product needs to have a group ID. So for example, if we have five t-shirts and they have different colors, uh, we need to assign one group ID, let's say um, SoulCal, the one that I'm wearing now, one, and then a different type of colors. Now this can also be a pattern. So if it's a uh, uh, same type of pa uh, color and pattern, then you can assign these as well. And also with color, so small, medium, XL. Now let's say we don't have an apparel product. Currently, Google only groups products with this, uh, within the group of uh, apparel products. But you can do this, for example, if you have a pot of paint and you have different types of colors, then you can do the same time because it's the same problem essentially. So let's say we have this little toy here and uh, we have this in a different color. Um, if we have, if we sell these individually, then these would be considered as uh, duplicates because they are identical, they have the same title and same description, and uh, this will not be allowed with Google. Now, if we change uh, this to have uh, to be in a group ID, so we'll change this to like you know toy for example, and then just add the color blue and yellow then these products can be added into the um, shopping um, without being duplicate. Now, what you do have to uh, be aware of is that the title has to be very similar. So for example, this is uh, Abbott Nutrition. Um, we cannot say, for example, um, a, a completely Abbott uh, uh, news or Abbott, you know, it's something completely different. We cannot make it completely different. So these need to be uh, the same, the title. Um, I would also recommend doing that with the description, but Google only mentions that you have to have the similar title. Now, currently, as I mentioned, you can only see on Google Shopping grouped items. So what is actually these grouped items that you can see on Google Shopping? So for example, if you go to Google Shopping and you see a product and you click on the product, you have the image on the right hand corner with some blurb here and the price somewhere in the title. But you can also have an option box that shows you which types of group, uh, grouped items they are. So for example, if we keep it simple uh, with apparel product, the size. So you can see here the S, M and XL or large and XL. You can see that in Google Shopping. And this can be a benefit because, for example, some people might be looking for a type of t-shirt but are only interested in, in a medium. So they can click on medium and then go and uh, go to your website. Now, if you have a uh, different sizing or different color types, your website needs to be able to identify this. So for example, you add a special color, um, a special URL query. So if we have a normal uh, query string, so just say product is our URL, product.php, let's say. And then we need to add a query. So this query in this case, for example, medium, so size is M and color is for example blue. So this needs to be done or if it's very obvious then then you can leave the, the query behind and just let the customer choose choose it again on your website. 
But if you think about it, you, you go to Google Shopping and you, you click on the, the type of product and, and the, the size and the color, and then you have to do it again on your website. It's a little bit tedious. And, and the, the key to, to a successful conversion is to make it as simple as possible for your customer. So try and um, make it pre-selected. So have a script on your website that you can um, identify what the query string is and then pre-populate your product on, on your website. So that's pretty much the, 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 the grouping system. Now I've got a couple of tips. Um, as I mentioned before, make sure that your titles are very similar. So if, for example, I have here SoulCal, then, for example, the first product needs to be, let's say, blue, and then the second one is yellow. You can also add uh, the variation of the material, the, mat uh, the pattern, or any other type. Um, what you also need to make sure is that you have at least one variant added. So for what that means is we have the color, pattern, size, and material. Now, if we assign a group ID, we need to at least fill in one of the four. So if we don't fill in the color, we need at least to fill in the pattern, the size, or the material. Um, now, another cool tip is if you sell jewelry from watches to earrings or golden rings, you can also add the carrot as a color variation. So normally you would say, for example, white gold, platinum, normal gold. Um, what you need to do is actually add the, the carrot. So you can have 8 carat or 16 carat. So this is the pretty much... Uh, the, all the tips that I can give you for the product variations. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. If you want any, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll answer every single question. Well, thank you very much and see you next time.